One of the best ways to see a new city is to take the tour bus and that is what we are doing in Auckland today and it's just about to arrive which is just as well because we just arrived at the start. We are on board and we have got the front seats. That is always a good thing if you get on at the first stop and you're the first person there, then you might be lucky and we were. We bought our tickets a few minutes ago at the ferry terminal, but you can buy them online and the address is at the bottom of the screen now. And you can also buy them from the driver and various other places around the city. We've got a map of the route that we are going to be taking today and there is on board commentary. You don't need earphones, which is good for me because they never stay in. It is just played out over the speakers. And that means you don't have to listen to us, which is good for the other passengers as well. We got a 24 hour pass and for an adult that is $50. There are certain combo tickets as well, but the system was down this morning so we weren't able to get one combined with the Sky Tower. You can use the combo for 24 hours after the expiration of your bus ticket. This is our route map for today. We are starting here at the harbour area, heading up to the Sky Tower and then going around this direction here, through Newmarket, Holy Trinity, at Cathedral, Parnell. at Parnell, and down here, to Bastion Point, near Mission Bay, which is near Mission Bay, to the beach, and that is where we will be heading first. We're not the only ones who think Auckland's unique. International surveys consistently rate the city one of the world's best places to live. Adrenaline junkies, start your engines. You'll find your choice of thrills at Auckland's Sky Tower, the tallest building in the Southern Hemisphere at 328 meters or 1,076 feet. The viewing platform's about 73 <laughs> stories up, with a panoramic view up to 80 kilometers or almost 50 miles in every direction. Picture all the islands, volcanoes, and city landmarks you've seen lying at your feet, plus the rest of Auckland from the Tasman to the Pacific and far beyond. Now, you real daredevils, would you rather see that view from outside the town or jump 192 meters down to the ground? You can do both at Skywalk and Sky Jump, two experiences for the ultimate thrill seeker. Are you feeling under the weather right now because of the horrible rain? I know I am. Why not make yourself feel better by subscribing to our YouTube channel?
It's Paul and Marcus. Just hit the subscribe button. You'll feel so much better.
Well, we've arrived at Bastion Point, and that is the point where we have to leave you today. But in our next episode, you will find out what we got up to here and also at Mission Bay. So until then, we'll see you next time, but you could subscribe. Hit the subscribe button below, and we also appreciate your likes and comments. See you then. Bye. Bye. This could be a fossil several million years old. Oh, or it Isn't might it? be... Oh, wood. It's either wood or it's an old bit of bone. Ugh. Anyway, maybe I should just play in the sand, right? Yes. Rather than pick up weird uh -huh. objects. Ooh, look. It's quite soft. But if you dig down... It's cold. Well, it's, it's not cold. It's actually quite warm. Oh, is it? Yeah, but it's wet. Look at this. Let's have a look at the sand. Get rid of the leaf there. <laughs> it seems to be a slightly thicker consistency than what you would find at Port Stewart. Um, what I would say is that it's probably because it's a little bit wet because there was a rainstorm yesterday. But it's it's dried out pretty well. Um, it's it's not soaking wet at all. Um, well, it's quite nice, look. You could probably build a sandcastle with this because if you brought your bucket and spade, and I don't know if that's a thing here, but, uh, ooh, oh look, <laughs> what's this? A it's a shell. leaf, no, it's a leaf. Oh, is it? Yeah, but there are shells, look at this, the tiny, tiny shells. Look at that. Look, something's been in there, right? What, like a animal? Yeah, like little, little mini oyster shells or something. Maybe, Look at that. Maybe it was a big oyster shell that broke or something. No, no, look, it's perfectly formed. Let's see what else we can find on the beach.